good way, mm. you know. When I'm doing something creative, I feel like I'm giving back to the world because that's what you need to do every day. Like something small even makes someone else laugh. That is enough. And I gotta tell myself that. And I keep telling myself that, like it's so simple, like. Anyway, you got bailed out with 12 million, right, from the Queen, I guess. They didn't say from the Queen, but yeah. It's Mumsy, of course. But yeah, Valentine's Day, yeah, no. Can't you just have every day to prove you love the other person in your life? Like, why do you need a specific day? Like, chill. What is up, guys? How you doing? Look, I'm back. And I'm not playing GTA, driving around in a fancy car. It's literally me and a microphone and, well, my laptop or webcam and some headphones and an empty room. Oh my god. Oh. My car, what are you doing? Valentine's Day. Um, I, it's not my thing. Being single and all, you don't really care for it. Um, you just go for Instagram, just laughing at all these people, pretending to have the perfect non toxic relationship where no one ever argues and smiles and all the time. Like Instagram, Instagram just promotes fake, fake uh, everything basically. I'm all about authenticity and uh, yeah. Instagram doesn't really help with that, but sometimes it's just fun to see what other people are up to. Um, but on Valentine's, it's a bit toxic because you're scrolling through and vomiting at all the the fake, the fakeness, like the fake relationships that are actually toxic, and just they're there showing off that they have someone else when not everyone is in need of someone else. Some people are happy as they are. Um, but yeah, Valentine's Day, yeah, no. Can't you just have every day to prove you love the other person in your life? Like, why do you need a specific day? Like, chill. Like, can't you just buy another half flowers randomly or take them out to dinner randomly? Like, I, I don't know. But anyway, I've been thinking, like, the, uh, the whole, like, idea of marriage is messed up now. Not messed up, but like, it's kind of a failed institution. Not always, not in every case, but I think, I don't know, like, back in the day, like maybe 200 years ago, 100 years ago, people didn't live as long, so they'd be married not as long, like 20 years, 30 years. Now people are married 60, 70 years. Uh, if they get married at like a youngish age, and that's a long time to spend with the same person. Respect to one anyone who does it. Respect to my grandparents who've done that. Been married for ages. Uh, I think like, I don't know. Definitely over 60 years, definitely. Around that. But yeah, that's mad. But like now, people living so long, it's getting even longer. So it doesn't mean it's failed, but how can you live with someone that long? Maybe you can, maybe you, some people will, but I don't know. But Valentine's Day is, it's all about the money, isn't it? It's about restaurants selling food, like, you know, getting more people in, uh, people selling chocolates and roses and whatever else, bottles of wine, you know, whatever else you buy on Valentine's. Uh, but you could sit there and say, oh, well, you're single, so of course you hate it. But like, and it's not for everyone. Like, even if I was not single, um, I wouldn't need one day to prove how I love the other person. Like, you know what I mean? Like, you, I don't know. Some people feel they do, but the rest of the year they're shitty. Like, so they just choose one day to be nice, like Christmas. But then Christmas really, everyone's pretending to be nice, turns out turns into everyone just arguing and like all this shit they haven't said all year. Well, depends how much alcohol you consume. 
So yeah, guys, the uh, podcast is back. Not that it went anywhere, but in its normal format for now. We'll see what um, what the future brings with the podcast. Been working on a few other things um, that I can't really say say anything about at the moment, but it's all creative based. So the things I'm good at, really. Um, but you know, it's been a bit of a up and down few weeks. Um, our cat of 17 years died last week, so that was really, really not nice. It's like losing a family member, like, but it's worse almost because it's an it's an innocent animal, like, I don't, I don't know, like, how to put it into words, really. If you've had a pet, you probably know the same feeling, or you know, it's just sad, like, seeing them from when they were young, growing up with them in some ways, because we got her in two thousand six. We had two in two thousand six. They were sisters. One died in 2018, uh, the sister of this one, which really affected the other cat, obviously, because you it's like a sibling, you know, so I think that may, maybe made her a bit sad, but a sad cat doesn't mean necessarily, well, it can make them ill if they're sad, with some animals, yeah, so might have contributed as well, but that was a few years back, and uh, now, 17 is a, a decent age for a cat, considering in the past we had cats that lived about 20, over 20 anyway. Um, but yeah, that was tragic. Like, I don't know how I'm so like keeping it together talking about it. Like, it is not pleasant, but um, yeah, we had her a long time, and uh, she's gonna be missed. Basically, we keep looking around like expecting to see a cat like but I don't um, but yeah that's been like that's messed up everything like nobody can like focus on anything because of that which is it, it, fair enough um, but yeah um, I haven't really uploaded much probably because of, because of that and I've been a bit busy with other things been back to football um, which has been difficult because we haven't been playing at our best. Power chair football, that is. Um, and yeah, I'm trying to, still trying to get back to normal, I guess. Making everything still feel like we're in lockdown to me. So I've still got to kind of be careful. Um, there's an element of just, I've had enough and I don't care, I'm going back to normal regardless. You know, like, going back on the bus and going on like adventures with the vlog that's possible but is it worth the risk I mean I think I'm just a, I don't know a bit hesitant in general like because having been quite ill the last few months and being well now I want to stay that way I don't want to go around catching Covid it's the last thing I need considering that it's not been that bad for people with my condition that I've had it but you don't want to deliberately get a, a virus because it or whatever it is um, no and so I heard in other news I heard Prince Andrew got bailed out of his uh, well his uh, I was going to say rape allegations but it is true or abuse or whatever it is what, whatever the actual name for it is disgusting thing they did or does. Anyway, he got bailed out with 12 million like, from the Queen, I guess. They didn't say from the Queen, but yeah. It's Mumsy, of course. <laughs> and he's not going to go to prison because he's the son of the Queen. Um, whatever you think of the royal family, it must have changed a bit in the last few months or year or two. All this stuff that's been going on that they've been covering up or not covering up or failed to do or not do, I don't know. But I don't want to talk about that too much, really. Um, and of course, there's the whole Joe Rogan situation and Spotify 
and the new development saying that he said something uh, racist a few like years ago, like 10, 10 or however many years ago. And there's all news coming out on that, which I'll keep you updated on. But how it started is he said something about the vaccine um, on his podcast, which is on Spotify. Uh, he was interviewing some like expert doctors talking about alternatives to the vaccine and like dealing with COVID and uh, yeah, people like Neil Young, uh, like a famous, like well, I guess he's a country singer or rock singer, rock singer really, but from like back in the day, chose to not be on Spotify anymore as a result of what Joe Rogan said about the vaccine, but it wasn't like he was giving, he was forcing people to take this other option to the vaccine. He was just presenting an alternative idea that got twisted into, he's forcing it on people and trying to make it like fact. But it's a podcast, it's not, he's not a professional doctor. And they were professionals that were talking on his show. So I don't know how people can say like, oh, he's, you know, anti-vax or all this. And is he really? I don't know, but um, there are people that aren't taking the vaccine. Look at um, the tennis player, Novak Djokovic. He won't be allowed to play in the, the French Open simply because no vaccine. So that's quite, well, that's quite funny. But he doesn't want to drop his beliefs just for tennis. But tennis is what he does. But so no more tournaments for Novak Djokovic. It's kind of funny, but not funny if you're a tennis fan. Because you want to see the best, the best possible players, you know. Um, so that's, we'll see how that goes because he's not going to get the vaccine, is he? He just won't be able to play tennis. So what's he going to do, retire? No idea. It's a weird one. So yeah, guys, I have a little update on the, um, the items I ordered for that video, the Wish video. Uh, it's like a site uh, that is it based, probably based in China, um, where they just, they're, they're famous for having really weird and cheap items uh, or products or whatever you want to call them, um, that in some cases, you know, you don't necessarily get what you see on the tin. So my idea for this video is, you know, order some random stuff from wish.com and just react to what I actually get compared to what I ordered. Um, and considering it's coming from China probably, that's like four weeks, three weeks. So I've got none of the items yet, but when I do, I'll be able to finish the video and then you'll see that. Um, I got the idea from a few other YouTubers that have done similar things. Yes, I spend my own money and I'm not a rich YouTuber, so yeah, I'm not going to be doing too many wish videos, you know, for that reason, because like, I could be spending my money elsewhere, but that is the kind of thing you do when you're a creator, you spend your own money willingly for the sake of a, a video. Um, and yeah, I'm no Mr. Beast or KSI, but I'm enjoying what I'm doing and it, it just makes me feel better in general, uh, especially the way things are in the world now, like it's just a bit miserable out there, isn't it? And I got more, I don't know, I feel more like some days just monotonous and keeping going on YouTube has helped tremendously like the whole time, like the whole pandemic and for life in general, because life does get you down regardless, pandemic or not, like everyone, and I've been feeling it more lately just because I'm not living a normal life, not being able to get out like I normally would and do the videos I want to. I mean, probably just like I said, because it's winter and like, I don't know, it's like, it's bloody freezing is what it is. 
and things like that, and I don't enjoy the cold. Don't think anyone does. Um, no, it's just one of them things that I'll get over when the summer comes, I'm sure. Um, because I like, like you can't beat the summer. Like you just do what you want, like go out when you want, but here you've got the fear of rain, but like at least it's actually warm enough, you know, to go to a pub and sit in a pub garden and not worry about COVID at all. I mean, I'm lucky I'm not one of those people with like social anxiety because it's caused a, like, you know, been caused by the lockdown for a lot of people. And uh, it's not that, I just think it's been, just because of COVID and just trying to get used to living a normal life. It's difficult, like, remembering what life was, was even like before. It's weird, like, trying to get back some sort of routine. And a lot of people are, and I'm not. And I kind of envy it, but at the same time, I gotta put my health first. But to what end? To drive myself mad being at home every day. Well, most days, the weekdays anyway. Still get to go to football. Um, and hopefully more Tottenham games. Uh, if it doesn't clash with the parity of football on the weekends. But yeah, that's what I'm dealing with. And that's why I'm streaming a lot more. Um, which takes up time in a good way, you know. When I'm doing something creative, I feel like I'm giving back to the world because that's what you need to do every day. Like something small even makes someone else laugh. That is enough. And I gotta tell myself that. And I keep telling myself that, like it's so simple, like I do this and I feel better. Because someone's watching this and it's made a difference or given them some time to forget about their own issues or help them get through their own issues. Um, Cause I'm not free of issues for sure. Um, yeah, you know, it's like they say, I don't, what do they say? But like doctors themselves have issues, but they're treating other people. Like they might have their own problems, but they're helping others. Like the best way to help someone else is with someone who's been through stuff in some ways, I don't know, or going through stuff or just living life. That's the best way to give someone else advice. Because no one's happy all the time. Um, how? If you are, then good for you. I don't know what you're doing, but you're doing something right. Um, and then there's, there's just, everyone has days up and down. Like I'm not saying every day I'm just miserable when I'm not creating videos. It's just a bit monotonous and it makes me fed up, but maybe I'm not the only one, so can't complain, it could be worse. I've got a roof, I can afford heating bills, I can afford water, you know, with the basics that sadly, people, some people in the UK are not being able to afford now. And then now you have to pay however much for a PCR test. Um, where if you're privately employed, as say, a carer or something, you've got to pay yourself for those tests. So you're spending money to make money. So in the end, you're not making any money really. It's costing you more to work um, in certain jobs. So it just, I, it, makes, it makes me grateful when I think of this kind of, this kind of thing, you know could be worse, could always be worse. And I have the equipment I need to make videos and get my message across. But yeah, I, I don't really, I'm not really gonna sit here for an hour and talk. I don't know how long we've been on. It's probably about half an hour so far. But yeah, that's the main thing I wanted to say. I mean, if you're actually you know, worried about going out, like, don't, try not to be. If you're, if you're able to go out and not feel the risks I do, then good for you, I mean, 
we've all got someone we care about that is at risk from this virus and that we want to protect whether it's ourselves or someone else we've all got someone so it's an element of be careful but not not too careful because I remember before the the other variant came out like last summer like things were pretty calm nobody was that worried we were easing up a lot of rules maybe that caused more covid but at the same time in that time i felt free in the summer i felt free went to italy it was calm you know there wasn't a lot of covid there was no scary variant on the way um you know people were pretty relaxed i would say then winter came and it got worse um you know so i i don't know i well, I'll, maybe I was too careful when I didn't need to be, like worried of the other variant, you know. And then that kind of died down in that time. I felt maybe I should have made the most of it more. And we did go out a lot in the summer. Of course, Italy was when I made the most of it. But I felt like I could have made more of it. Because then after comes Omicron and everyone gets worried. And it's another variant. So there's more risk then I have to stay in. So like now, it's a bit more calm. I don't know, but there's obviously the economic side of it, the financial side where people are suffering. But with the actual COVID, it's quite calm. And I've got all the vaccines. So now's a good time to just really try and get back to normal and then just pray to God there's not another variant. Because if there is, we'll be locked not locked down but like I'll have to be more careful again and maybe not get to go out as much so while I can maybe I should I don't know it's, it's a difficult one because I don't really want COVID like I said I've been ill enough with other things so nah <laughs> it's 50-50 it is what it is but at least I'm laughing some of the time <laughs> Um, no guys thank you and uh, good luck with what, what <laughs> let me get my words out good luck with there's so many people driving past I, did, I can't even focus good luck with whatever it is you're doing whatever it is you're going through good or bad um, keep up keep it up yeah stay up stay humble you know keep killing life um Anyway, that's it from me. Take it easy, fam. Peace. It's a wonderful life.